Coming out of the ground behind me is the Valley Performing Arts Center. It's going to have a unique and singular partnership with the Los Angeles County Music Center. This project is going to bring the creative arts to the region in a way that no other facility currently makes available. The uh, Performing Arts Center is going to be a positive force for the, for the San Fernando Valley, but also for the entire county. I don't think there's a better place uh, to site this Performing Arts Center uh, than Cal State Northridge. The renderings are beautiful. Can't wait for it to come to life. Those of us who are donors, one of the things you hate the most is the sense that you're donating to some black hole somewhere. This is a place where you can see real results. We're right on the verge of getting a dream come true. Don't rush out and get a ticket. It's not till 2010. But at least we're starting. We're starting in tonight. The dream was born over 30 years ago a world-class performing arts center in the heart of the San Fernando Valley. The vision caught the imagination of Southern California leaders and they pledged their efforts to build a dream. In 2010, the dream will be realized when the doors to the first performing arts center in the San Fernando Valley open for the very first time. While the campaign continues to raise the remaining funds, the Valley Performing Arts Center is beginning to rise on the Cal State Northridge campus. The university has taken the leadership, we're spearheading the efforts, we've garnered the state support. We want and need the community of Los Angeles to step forward and to help make this a, this a reality. Part of the money is being put up by the taxpayers, but a good part of the money is being put up by private sources, by people that want to donate, that want to see culture in the valley. Public-private partnerships are the key, they're the future, and getting behind this public-private uh, partnership uh, will have the effect of affecting uh, generations to come. While its population of almost two million would make it the fifth largest city in the nation, the valley is significantly underserved in the variety and quality of cultural opportunities it offers. This is the most diverse city uh, anywhere in the United States of America, maybe anywhere in the world. Arts and culture uh, can connect us. I think the Valley Performing Arts Center is going to change the whole tenor, the whole feeling of the San Fernando Valley. It's going to serve so many people in so many wonderful ways. I think the most important thing that we're going to bring to the community is the availability of, of world-class performing artists on this campus in the valley. I think for a community to have a world-class performing arts center creates a greater sense of identity around that place which makes people feel good about living there and feel good about getting more deeply involved in the community. So I think it's positive all the way around. We think the San Fernando Valley will be the home of one of the leading performing arts centers in the United States. The facility itself features a dramatic and elegant signature design by the Minneapolis-based architectural firm of Hamill, Green and Abramson and promises to be one of the most architecturally significant buildings in the Valley region. What we're standing in right now just looks like the guts of the building. In fact, it's basically the guts of the back of house of this building. But what will rise out of the ground in the concert hall area will be this amazing 1700 seat opera house style facility that's wrapped with a very, very beautiful glass curtain wall on both the north and the west sides. As you look at the building, there will be a transparency to the building, which I think will be really, really exciting and will totally change the landscape, not only of this site, but the entire San Fernando Valley. Planned for the northwest corner of Nordoff Street and Lindley Avenue, at the gateway to the campus, the center will include a 1,700-seat hall, acoustically adjustable to accommodate all types of performances, a 178-seat black box theater for experimental and smaller scale student productions, two full-sized rehearsal spaces matching the footprints of the performance stages, indoor and outdoor public and entertainment areas, a lecture hall, labs, and other academic spaces, 
technical support space, and capability for audio and video recording and electronic amplification. Full studio and administrative space for the award-winning campus radio station, KCSN-FM. Much of what ends up in downtown LA or on Broadway has been developed regionally someplace around the country in a professionally equipped environment. And what we're creating here is such an environment. And this will enhance the educational opportunities of our classroom teachers to provide more meaningful uh, instruction to their students by having a real, living, viable performing arts center with quality production. For a student in a school in the valley to travel all the way downtown to the music center is almost an all-day activity. And to have this facility so close to a quarter of a million youngsters in K-12 offers us a very, very exciting opportunity. I look forward to the day when I would get the opportunity to grace the stage of the Valley Performing Arts Center on the campus that I received both my bachelor's and my master's degree from. To experience the richness of a full symphony orchestra, or to see world-class performers and entertainers, Valley residents must now drive as much as 25 miles in any direction. But the Valley Performing Arts Center will change all that, bringing to its stages the excitement of performances from artists like Joshua Bell, Tim McGraw, Natalie Cole, Earth, Wind and Fire, the LA Opera, the Joffrey Ballet, Winona Judd, Dave Koz, the Los Angeles Philharmonic, Wynton Marsalis and the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra, the Miami City Ballet, Lily Tomlin, and others. The center will allow us to build on our existing relationships with film studios to host film premieres and special screenings. Studies conducted over the past 25 years have repeatedly found that an investment in the arts is a wise investment in the community. The quality of life uh, is enhanced by the arts. Uh, everybody understands that. What people need to understand beyond that is that it's not just about quality of life. It's, it's about uh, an economic engine. So for those who want to know what's the payback for this kind of an investment in a performing arts center, well, there's a huge payback. And the payback is that uh, you, you've, created, you've created economic activity, you've created wealth, you've created jobs, uh, and you've created a good quality of life. All upside, absolutely no downside. The Valley needs a performing arts center. Cal State Northridge is committed to serving this Valley. We, with the help of our community partners, will make this happen, and the population of this region will have a major performing arts center at Cal State Northridge that they will be able to participate and celebrate the arts in. Join the campaign for the Valley Performing Arts Center. Become a part of the dream. The Valley Performing Arts Center is the fulfillment of a dream, but more than that, it will continue to inspire dreams in all of us.